Hey guys, and welcome back to another review. This one, I want to look at something different, and this is another one I have to give thanks to um, Fallen Jedi for. Um, he got these for me um, as part of the package he sent out with the two Shaw Troopers that I just did in my last review. Um, yeah, we're both big fans of Ralph Macquarie's art, and he picked these up. I didn't even, I, I thought it was something different, because um, there's these... Star Wars Hot Wheels uh, cars you can get and they've got artwork on them but they're like planet themed um, and I haven't got any of them yet um, but he took a photo of these and I thought that was what we had in stores here but we don't but he managed to pick these up for me for I think he said 99 cents each at Kmart that was closing down local to him so um, he offered to send them to me and yeah that I'm being a big fan of Ralph Macquarie's art I'd yeah, I couldn't say no. These are absolutely fantastic. And while I'm not the biggest automotive fan, I'm not I'm not big on cars and stuff. Um, throw a bit of Star Wars in, and we'll talk. But um, I've, I do collect the character cars, um, the hot Star Wars Hot Wheels character cars. They're awesome. Um, car ships, the you know the the hybrid ship cars. They haven't actually come out down here, so I haven't had a chance to get any of them. Um, I'm not sure I would. I just I'm, like my ships as ships and I like my cars as cars so but um yeah I just wanted to give you a little overview of each of one of these um I'll try and go in movie order just to just because they look really nicely displayed and I've, got, I've just sort of pinned them up on the wall um next to one of my shelves for the moment um it's really nice so we've got the th sort of that original 3PO and R2 painting that Ralph did you can see you've got Hot Wheels Star Wars and up the top here it's got Ralph Macquarie Star Wars Diecast. And this is apparently a highway hauler. I just call it a truck. <laughs> um, obviously it says down there it's metal, real riders. I don't know what any of that stuff means. I don't I'm not a I'm not a Hot Wheels buff, so but they're all sort of decorated with this artwork. So we've got on this one it's got the Tuscan Raiders painting. Um, I assume it's got the same on the other side of the truck. I'm not going to open them because they look really good on the uh, cards. So it looks like there's only six for the set. Um, I'm, I haven't looked into whether there's any more, but you sort of see the rest of the set on the back of the car there. And yeah, I've sort of had a quick scan over to look at look for numbers, but I can't tell if there's any others. It just says for the adult collector. And that's me. So there's that one. Now we'll go to this one here. That's the other. We'll go from the original Star Wars. It's got what was originally Luke Starkiller and Vader. This is apparently a Ford Transit super van. I know what Ford Transits are. That's what they use to deliver the, the post. Down here in Australia, anyway, Ford Transits. This looks like an older one. Some writing right there. I can't tell what that says. It says Customs V8. So I'll take their word for it. And on the back there, it just got a little copyright and LFL for Lucasfilm Limited. So they look really nice too. Again, all the cards are the same on the back. Have a look at some Empire Strikes Back. This one, we've got a car called the Rolling Thunder, which I actually think looks really cool. Um, again, I'm not a big car nut, but I, I do like cars that look cool, and I'm I'm thinking this looks pretty cool. I don't know. If I saw it driving past outside, I want, it might turn my head a little bit, but I always have got the Hoth, Hoth bunker here. And on the side, we've got Luke riding a snow lizard. We see an early design for the Tauntaun and the AT-80 behind it. So that looks quite cool. It's uh, hard for, I'm not sure if the camera's picking up, but the art's actually nicely applied to the car. So now we'll go with the other Empire Strikes Back and we've got Luke on his crashed X-Wing on Dagobah. And on the car itself we've got sort of Luke just put, sitting in his X-Wing you got some like swampy trees and stuff on those uh, wheel covers, wheel guards, I'm not sure what to call them. Again, copyright Lucasfilm Limited on the back of the car. 
And sort of some X-Wing inspired decals on the bonnet. X-Wing helmet inspired decals on the bonnet. Or on the hood, depending on where you're from. In Australia, we call it a bonnet. So it's quite nice. Again, I'm a big fan, like I said, big fan of Ralph Macquarie's art. So these are quite cool. Now, second to the last one, we've got Return of the Jedi. We've got the Rancor. This one looks sweet. Um, it looks like this is the first one where they've actually duplicated their art onto the car. So we've got Luke battling the Rancor. This one is a 66 Dodge A100. It still says Dodge on the front. Pretty nice, nicely doing it too. I like that one. And sorry, that other Empire one that I looked at before, I forgot to name the mention of the name of the car is a 34 Chrysler Airflow. So it doesn't, again, I apologize, it doesn't mean anything to me, but I might actually learn something. Um, now go to the last one. And this awesome picture of uh, the Emperor electrocuting Luke, that's an amazing painting. I really love that. And on the car, which is a 67 Ford Bronco. We've got Vader. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of looking at this art and it, I, I'm try, I can't pick the rest of the full image. So I'm going to have to look, up, look in the uh, concept book to see if this picture's in there. Because yeah, I don't recall seeing that, but it's clearly Vader. I'm guessing Luke and the Royal Guards. That'll be my guess. But a really nice set. Um, really, really happy to have these. Let me just zoom out again. Really happy to have this set. They look fantastic on the wall. And uh, yeah, anything to do with Ralph Macquarie's art, I'm a big fan of. Um, and yeah, these are just a really nice little display piece. So I just wanted to share them. In a little quick video, so I hope you've enjoyed it guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below and until my next video, may the force be with you.